Hi, I'm Mei Zhang from Queen Mary University of London. I'll be presenting our paper, Integrating Interactive Technology Concepts with Material Expertise in Textile Design Disciplines. The paper was collaborated with Dr. Rebecca Stewart from Imperial College London and Professor Nick Brian Kings from Queen Mary University of London. Our work is based on the fact that more and more textile and fashion designers are becoming interested in integrating interactive technologies into their practice. But traditional design education typically doesn't have proper support for these design students to develop technical, digital, and electronic skills alongside their expertise in materials. And commonly, the smart textile and clothing projects are collaborated between technologists and designers. But the role of textile designers were often marginalized. Textile designers' thinking are described as internal intelligence. They tend to feel and explore materials tangibly, and the tacit nature makes it hard to communicate beyond the field. Therefore, this unique nature led us to raise the question: How can we better support textile designers to design with interactive technology? Our paper explored the following questions. At the beginning of the study, we firstly conducted a survey to 18 textile and fashion designers who had no formal training in programming or electronic engineering. The survey is to investigate their interest and concerns in designing with interact technology, which helped to contextualize the research and led to the understanding of how to facilitate support in the next step. Commonly, the interests are either achieving functionality or monitoring physiological information, or for design enhancement, which aim to make design more aesthetically pleasing. For their preferred design materials, metal, yarn, thread, and knitted fabric are most popular. For sensing function, touch, proximity, pressure, and stretch sensing were the most popular sensing interests. And for output function, movement, lighting, and sound have the most interests. And most participants mentioned that electronic system need to be hidden or incorporated into the materials and the garments. With the survey results. We understood textile designers' actual needs and concerns. Therefore, we came to our second stage: develop tools for support. We reviewed different e-textile toolkits. We found that some toolkits are designed for beginners, but have particular constraints on what people can achieve. Some toolkits encourage open-ended design, but require pre-existing knowledge in e-textiles or electronics. Therefore, the design goal for our toolkits are low entry threshold, allow for rapid prototyping, and encourage personalization. This is an e-textile toolkit we designed called Infinite. It consists of functions in modular blocks, online tutorials, a variety of conductive materials, and e-textile sensor templates. The toolkit supports movement and sound as output functions, and support input functions of switch. Pressure sensing, positional sensing, and bend sensing. In the next stage, we conducted a study with five textile design postgraduate students from the Royal College of Art. The study was designed in two parts: a two-day workshop where the students learn e-textile sensor principles and interactive functions, then eight-week design projects where participants make a complete interactive textile project. Before the workshop. We invited students to also bring their own design materials, and they were then encouraged to explore the possibilities of their own materials in structuring interfaces. The idea of this step is to encourage students to design interfaces from their everyday use materials. We also facilitated printing equipment for the workshop. During the free sensor exploration, students typically intuitively interacted with materials without a clear target. And gradually form design ideas as the hand-on work took shape. Crafting sensors with various materials helps students to build a deeper understanding and flexible use of sensor principles. One popular way of forming e-textile sensors was to combine the euro materials with conductive materials and imitating the structure of template sensor. Some students started by handling materials without a clear target of functions they were going to achieve. When the textile took shape. They start sensing possibility by shaping or playing with the textile. 
The other method is by adding conductive elements after the taxol is shaped. This method prioritizes taxol constructions, and sensing functionality may be achieved by adding conductive elements once the taxol is made. After the workshop, four students continued to eight-week design project. They went through three stages to complete their projects. The first stage was researching, starting by researching design concepts, color scheme, materials. And interaction examples. The next stage is experimenting stage, in which students test the sensors and actuators while constructing textile samples, adjusting the physical design according to the technical affordances. The toolkit saves students' effort from building circuitry and learning programming, helping to keep their focus on design itself. In the final stage, students mostly implemented and finalized their project independently. This co-development of sensors and taxons made the interactive taxon more integrated. For example, the participant chose a hollow material for the puppet's glove. Considering that this material is stretchy, she crocheted conductive yarn into strip and inserted it into the hollow material to form a stretch sensor. In students' final results, interactive systems were not presented as separated from taxon design and something added as a second process. Instead, they were integrated during the textile construction process and related closely to the material properties. For example, the student combined air inflation with soft and inflatable silicon to achieve a level of breathing and softness on the design. The participant designed five different interesting motions to the series of textile sculptures. This student used stretch and movement interaction to present storytelling of the annoying gum on her textile design. Fourteen months after the study, we revisited three participants to investigate whether they had been using interactive technology in design after the project and what ongoing impact the project had. We found that all three students experimented with digital elements in their later design practice. The participation of the study has broadened their design vision, and interactive technology has become a part of their design thinking. The open-ended approach and toolkit mutually reinforced the flexible use of technology and resulted in a more integrated design. We found that demonstrating a variety of example interactive projects, sensors, and actuators relating to textile and clothing design broadened students' design vision. And help to generate new concrete design ideas, and guiding textile designers to start technical exploration from familiar materials increased their curiosity in technology. The fast prototyping toolkit supports ideation and iterative adjustment of the whole design. For more about our study and the results, please go check out our paper. Thank you.